This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God, and did not fear the words of the godly, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mass at St. Mary Helston. Today is the 1st of July, July, the month of the Precious Blood. And so our Sacred Heart statue, which was there beside the altar, has gone, and instead in front we have a reminder of the precious blood of Jesus, which we receive from the chalice at every Mass. Today is the feast day of St. Oliver Plunkett. St. Oliver was the last of the martyrs to die for his faith during the Reformation times. We honour him and we offer Mass today for the grace of a happy death. But first, brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, you filled St. Oliver with the spirit of fortitude, enabling him to feed your people with his word and to lay down his life for the faith. At his intercession, keep us strong in that same faith and help us to proclaim it everywhere. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Continue our cycle of readings Wednesday from the 13th week of Ordinary Time. A reading from the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you as he prays you. Hate evil, love good, maintain justice at the city gate, and it may be that the Lord of hosts will take pity on the remnant of Joseph. The Lord says this, I hate and despise your feast. I take no pleasure in your solemn festivals. When you offer me holocausts, I reject your oblations and refuse to look at your sacrifices of fattened cattle. Let me have no more of the din of your chanting, no more of your strumming on harps, but let justice flow like water and integrity like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will show God's salvation to the upright. Listen, my people, I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you, for I am God, your God. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not ask nor bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. I own all the beasts of the forest, beasts in their thousands on my hills. I know all the birds in the sky. All that moves in the field belongs to me. Were I hungry, I would not tell you, for I own the world and all it holds. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips, you who despise my law and throw my words to the wind? I will show God's salvation to the other. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come 
to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus reached the country of the Gadarenes on the other side of the lake, two demoniacs came towards him out of the tombs, creatures so fierce that no one could pass that way. They stood there shouting, What do you want with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torture us before the time? Now some distance away there was a large herd of pigs feeding, and the devils pleaded with Jesus, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go then. And they came out and made for the pigs, and up the whole herd charged down the cliff into the lake and perished in the water. The swine herds ran off and made for the town, where they told the whole story, including what had happened to the demoniacs. At this the whole town set out to meet Jesus, and as soon as they saw him, they implored him to leave the neighbourhood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We must serve the Lord with an undivided heart and our prayer must give meaning to our life. In that spirit, we turn to God and pray that our community may always live the gospel with all its heart and mind and strength. That our faith will always be shown in loving care for those in need that we will always have the courage to challenge injustice, that we will always seek reconciliation before we come to the altar, that we may always realise that our worship must come from a sincere heart. Father in heaven, the light of Jesus has scattered the darkness of hatred and sin. Called to that light, we ask for your guidance. Form our lives in your truth, our hearts in your love. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just as I'm preparing the altar, may I draw your attention to some changes I've made today, so if anything goes wrong, I'll apologise in advance, but I have changed the camera used for Facebook and also changed the camera used for the YouTube upload. I have got one going spare just in case something goes wrong, so we'll have to hope for the best. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love, through which St. Oliver Plunkett overcame every bodily torment, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Oliver, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, 
shows forth your marvellous work, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Oliver Plunkett faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I note about tomorrow, it was to be an ordinary weekday Mass which we offered for our bishop. Slight change of plans. The Mass will actually be a votive Mass of the precious blood for this month of July. And we're offering it for Raina McAllister and all her family who recently moved away from the parish. Salve Regina, Madam Misericordiae, Vita Lucero, et pet nostra salve, ad te clamamos, et tu recibi erbe, ad te suspiramos, gemente in